and we are live and welcome wilma but wait for my facebook to load before because i think everybody is used to this as my introduction line my facebook loads and then suddenly i have to switch it off because i'm oh. live yeah yeah so you could hear <laughs> it just starts echoing i have to switch it off and sometimes i have not been able to figure out how to do it if somebody can help me i would be awesome all right <laughs> um, we have a very very beautiful guest with us okay she's beautiful because uh, i'm somehow she's been around me she's been in the comments for us since this project has started she's also attended one of my uh, you know online workshops and she silently has been adopting everything that we've been talking about without making a big deal out of it and when i was having a conversation with her i realized that my god i was so humbled that she was coming back to the fact that shikha you know you said this and this is what happened and you said this and i started taking pictures with my daughter even if my daughter seems that i'm crazy um <laughs> so this is a person who's celebrating what we are trying to do in that book already and that's why i said wilma you need to be in this book because she's a beautiful soul i spoke to her uh and like so she likes to hide but i'm bringing <laughs> in front because we've had a very uncanny incident that is like a message to wilma that this is meant for her so wilma welcome please introduce yourself and your journey till here and then do introduce yourself as a mom and what your journey has been till here thank you chika um yeah i it's been a, a an amazing journey um and thank you for inviting me to be part of this great uh, mission on the book i have been i'm a mom of 3 um i have two teenagers one college and one senior and one going to 8th grade and it's been an amazing and very <laughs> transforming journey um but like she could say i i am always been a, a mom behind the camera um i am from puerto rico and i was raised and born in puerto rico then i um i went to um georgia and united states in the east coast and i went to college there then i went to um back to puerto rico because my father got sick in 2011 and he passed away i stayed there for 2 years and it was one of the most hardest things that i ever um had to live um with my kids and so they had a new school they went to spanish all of a sudden all spanish school and for me it was hard because i put them through this but then they also learned that i was um that they had a culture they had a tradition they had we have family so it was for me to go back and take care of my dad it was um it was something i needed to do um he raised me good and i um and i he deserved that respect um and i gave it all for him and i just went back and took care of him um and he passed away a day like today yeah and i just um you know i i have been on a journey with my kids um right after my dad passed away um uh, everything changed and that's when my you know goal um to be a better mom and to be a inspiring mom right after he left cuz he was my he was my hero he still is and i know he's watching over us but i wanted to be set an example for my kids the way he taught us to be and as a mom that was like a lot to take in and then i came um what well, after the two years passed um in puerto rico i came to seattle washington and this where i am and i came on with my luggage and no no um, furniture just everybody had a luggage and we came to seattle washington to start our lives here again and fresh and and start our new journey here in seattle yeah this and uh, today is your dad's 10th death anniversary and that's what i must tell the audience that 
I don't know why Wilma came into my mind just yesterday before I slept and I just messaged her, Wilma, will you be one of my moms? And uh, Wilma is just like, uh, she didn't tell me, but yes, she like, yes, I'll connect in the morning. And we just connected my morning today, just a few hours back. And I said, Wilma, you're on as one of my moms today. And then she told me that it is the same time as a dad passed away. Uh, and this is the 10th anniversary. So I was telling her that probably this is a message from her dad that it's time for her to show up because she's such a strength to her family. And this project, uh, Wilma, is not only about you know, uh, being a mom, uh, uh, achieving something in a very tangible way. You being an awesome daughter. I am crazy about my father as well, you know, <laughs> and uh, I'm totally like crazy about him. And I can absolutely feel that when he's no more, I don't think so. It, it would be easy for me because he is my hero. And I absolutely relate to you with that. Um, and uh, the beautiful part about you was that you did what it was needed and it's a tough decision to take. And then you've dedicated yourself to children, uh, to your kids uh, with whom you have a fantastic relationship and you're very emotional about them. Whatever little posts I've, uh, I've got from you, you're very, very emotional about your kids. And that's why you as a mom needs to be celebrated in this book. So it's a total honor to have a mom like you who will inspire many moms like you who keep quiet and who quietly keep doing things. It's a total honor. And I know that you're also doing a health journey and many, many people are actually, um, you know, being helped with their counseling. You're raising them, you're giving them a new direction. And that itself is a great thing. And uh, do you want to talk about that? Like what is it that you're doing with the health space at this moment? Well, I'm a, Last year, um, I got to a point that my health was at risk and I knew it, but it took a block in my life. Like I could not walk. I was limping. I, I could do not take care of my kids. They were actually taking care of me. And, and I felt that I needed a change. And I knew that about that I needed to lose weight. And it was not just about my physical appearance and it was not about looking cute, looking nice, but it was my health. I had diabetes, high blood pressure, my kidneys were at risk and my knees. And at that point when I, I'm in Seattle, I'm living here by myself with, with my husband, but with my family only, all my family is in Puerto Rico and other states. So I decided, that I needed to do something because I didn't want to leave my kids alone. I didn't, I couldn't, I was just thinking about the fact that I will not be here. What would they do? Where would they go? Who would it take care of them? Um, and that, that just frightened me and scared me. And I started looking out for my health. And that's when I encountered the program that I'm in and I started losing weight safely and it has helped me lost over a hundred pounds. And by that time, I just, um, it, when COVID hit, I was at home and it helped me get connected, you know, with more people online. And that's when I got started getting clients and they have, they started getting results. And I'm like, wait, this actually is motivating people. And this is changing lives because um, it's not only your uh, physical health is also your mindset yeah. and the way that you feel about yourself and your self-esteem. And I was helping these women um, get their life back together too. At, as, uh, at the same time that I was losing weight, I'm still on my goal to lose weight, but I have um, already lost enough that my health is at a point that I don't need to take any medications that I used to take. And then my knees are not hurting anymore. Um, my kids are, um, they're asking if I'm okay because I always complaining about my knee and then they all of a sudden they think that I'm, they, they forget about it. And then they ask, are, you, are your knees okay? I'm like, yeah, they're okay. <laughs> and I always forget that, um, you know, just little changes can change your, changed your life forever.
by making the change, by making the, the choice to do it. And I was not making that choice. And I was always, um, like I was telling Chica, I was behind the camera. I was behind the camera in every aspect of my life. It was not just the lens, it was in friendships and relationships and social settings and, um, and then the camera, of course, but I was not showing up and that was affecting my life. And then while I'm losing weight, I'm helping people. I have to be present. And as I'm being present, it forces me to talk. <laughs> it forces me to be online. And it has been an amazing journey for me to just um, be online talking to more people, knowing, you know, I've never in a million years thought that I was going to be here with you in India, you know, having an interview with you. It's, it's, it's just amazing. And, and like you said, on this day, that is so powerful. When you call me, I mean, I, I was just in shock. I said, how could it be? And she's going to interview me the same time my dad passed away. And I am, you know, I'm, I'm very honored and I'm very honored to be here. Um, and I love the journey. I love the, the book that you are empowering women. And I've been watching, I've been watching behind the scene, all of these women, the 33 women that you have interviewed, I've watched them all. And every one of them have taught me something. There's been something in each one of them and I, I'm not alone. I think that's what I learned from your interviews. And I know there's many more to come and I'm not alone. And that's what gives me actually the courage. I'm like, I'm a mom, like all the other moms, they all have something. We all have a message and we all have kids that we need to raise and, you know, lead and, and bring them up to better citizens, you know, to have a better life than us. <laughs> I, I just don't have any um, words, uh, Vilma. You know why? Because, you know, in today's, like, honestly, today I have done the first thing I ever wanted to do. I've reached the heart of a woman who I wanted to reach, who needed this project the most and who was so-called the ideal customer of this project. <laughs> you know? Like for me, at this point in time, I finally could reach to that woman I was looking for who really needed this project. <laughs> and today, this is my first success. I absolutely will make sure that this interview is watched because the courage you're taking to come here, the way the universe has aligned this on the most important day of your life, you know, your dad's a soldier. I came to know you've put his pictures behind and such an inspiring story of him being a war veteran and of, of him being such an inspiration to this girl who took her children, who went to be with him when he was in pain, only because he as a parent showed that way and she didn't want to leave him and it was her turn. And that journey itself is amazing. And then you brought your kids back and then like in that process, yes, you've lost, but you found so much. And today you're just being gifted this particular page mm -hmm. as an award, not from me, but from the universe. It came to me. Wilma, you've been hanging around for almost months around. <laughs> you know, and I'm mm -hmm. telling you, uh, I was told by my assistant that you have nobody on this day. You have people lined up for next three, four, five days, but this day is, so I was going off to sleep and I said, why not Wilma? <laughs> and I messaged you before sleeping that will you be up for mm -hmm. a chat call because I want and I also wondered you know and because it's an honest chat I'm, I went and searched what like who's I know Wilma but I don't know her face yet and where is Wilma hiding <laughs> you know she was in my workshop and she was hiding with the camera off she was in my mastermind group she was hiding she's not in a, <laughs> she's making so much pain but she's still hiding and that's why when I met you I totally knew and it's only after we decided that today is the day that 
you know, Wilma is coming up and then you told me that what this day meant to you. It's just <laughs> uncanny, you know. And I told you that you told me a very beautiful story that when you left Puerto Rico, you asked your dad's uh, grave that, oh. you know, what is it? Like, is this the right message? And a lot of birds started flying and you knew that this was the right thing to do. And that was a message from your dad. And you moved back to Seattle or you came to Seattle. And today, again, on his 10th uh, death anniversary, uh, we are celebrating his uh, efforts on you in this book. Well, well, this is a very special day for me. It's a very special day for me. And I'm telling you, nobody more uh, happier than me to have you on this. And I'm sure many people will. Um, well, she's here. Terry's here. She's cheering us up. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. Um, Thank so, you. Because this is an honest conversation. What happens to a mom? I keep asking, why is she hiding? What is the what is the thing? Why are we all hiding from showing up to come here? And then when somebody says, hey, it's like, you know, Wilma, you should come in the book and be like, oh my God, that's scary. <laughs> that that's was scary. Good. What is so scary about it? Because you told me when I, I got a message from you saying, Wilma, I need to talk to you. You said, I was very scared. I knew what was coming because now Shikha is going to come and push me into something that I will not be able to say no. Uh, he's very pushy. But uh, uh, what is, what's so scary? Why do you feel it's scary to show up? You're so gorgeous. You're so much to share with the world. Well, getting out, well, first of all, I was getting out of my comfort zone. I, I always been comfortable being behind the scene and everybody knows about it. And my family is like, oh, Wilma, let's take a picture. No, she always is behind the camera. And it was like normal to me. So it was like, so it's been just normal. So I, it's hard for me to just break through that and just be in front of camera. And even though I lost a lot of weight and I, and I, you know, I'm very proud that I've lost over a hundred pounds. I still feel that I'm not done. And then I'm like, wait, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to show up. I'm not ready to be on camera. I'm not ready for that cute picture. So let me just wait until I'm ready. But you know, when I'm gonna be ready, it's like, I think I'm ready. <laughs> it's just that I'm, I haven't had the courage to actually accept the fact that I've lost so much and I am already another person. I'm already a transformed person, but for me, it was like the goal is somewhere close, but it's not there yet. And I keep like getting closer to it, but then I push it back and then I don't know if I'm ready for it. So I realized that I can't be hiding anymore. And I think I need to show up and I need to be there for everybody that is in this journey with me, all my clients, all my family, because they've been asking, you know, where's your picture? And then that's what Chica, Chica said, where's your picture? <laughs> where's your profile picture? And I've, and I've posted pictures, but it's not on the profile. It's, it's not on the cover. Um, I used to like, I, I never, I didn't tell you this, but when I was um, in my twenties, I love photography, but I didn't do it professionally. I just love to take pictures. I have thousands of pictures and I love to take angles. And I, that's when I got closer to you because I said, I can get this back. I can get back what I used to do when I was in my twenties and when I was, I still take a lot, but it's not like when I was um, younger, I used to be, it was more of, I thought about being a career, but it never turned into a career. I just you know, other things happen and I went to college and I just forgot about it, but I kept on doing it. So when um, when you told me, you know, I don't see your picture, you like kind of like hit the spot and it, yeah, it, it was like a, a shock. It was you're like, oh, she knows what I, she knows what's going on. <laughs> she, um, she got to me. So for that's when I think we connected because she knew what, what was going on. 
I, you, you went right on, and I and that's what I was seeing hmm? it. I was seeing it. Uh, <laughs> I even mentioned in my course when you came in that Vilma, your camera off. I like people's camera on, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, because this project is so creative in like with that pulse that you were going through, uh, actually connected to it. I would, honestly. Till yesterday evening, it didn't strike me why not Gunma as a mom because uh, I don't know what happened. And it is strange that I keep saying this that I've been just sent people, and like people keep asking me, like you know, so many. But I've been just like like the more I'm aligning myself to this project, the more people who need to be in this project are coming in, and I'm totally. Like I have no words. What's happening? Like I mm-hmm. don't want to sound like woo woo. I don't want to sound. But the <laughs> with you is so real. I could actually reach out to you and say, Wilma, let's do this. You know. Mm-hmm. And the fact that you trusted, it, the fact that you've been watching it, the fact that you even told me that you you realize that what this project was all about with a client of yours, and we'll talk about it is uh, a total honor and i've already received with your uh, interview today what i wanted to uh, do with this project so thank you so much for trusting it and not putting this mm-hmm. clue away and saying Wilma, that forget it chika i can't do it i'm not ready and i know that things are going to move around and all the mothers together are going to uplift each other so this is gorgeous and like today is your day of rising like that's the first day that's Mm -hmm. happened because i know what it is for you to come not only with on camera not only giving me your picture but also (laughs) going live on facebook in front of so many people like you've just straight away crossed like all the levels straight on the top time to not fly that's it wilma you just i think i think it's gonna be after september 1st 2000 21 it's going to be something totally new so it's like it's 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 yeah it's uh, the start of something good it's september one today huh? it is september one today 2021 yeah mm-hmm. september 1st yeah mark it yeah yeah go ahead no it was it was like when you sent me the message um and you said let's get on a call and and then I did I just thought it was just a call you wanted to talk to me about your master class or like you know like the project that we had been going like the you know the 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 emails that you sent me before and I was like oh yeah it's just for that but when it actually struck me that you were talking about this project and I've been following it yeah I just want to thank you that you actually reach me um otherwise i will be still hiding i have no words uh it's nothing to do with me it's just came this way and i am just picking up the clues so i'm totally glad and i remember that when i called you in the morning today and you said um you know it was supposed to be a video call i thought it was a (laughs) no i don't do any audio calls i only do video calls (laughs) that was your first reaction so um Terry, Terry, yes, I don't know what I see, but I definitely see through uh, this so-called photography. So um, let's no, the the, yeah. the camera came this time. I didn't have a choice because when when I get into your Zoom meeting or your video call, it went right to the camera. You know, like it just opened. I didn't have a chance to even close. So yeah, it was, I know. Yeah. Like, what? It was a video call. It was, <laughs> it was a video. audio call. What is probably happening? And when the interview you said a call, interview yeah, ended, but you said, uh, what now? I have to give my picture? Yes, you have to give your picture for the announcement. What really? I have to go live. <laughs> live. How many hours? What ten picture? Hours. In 10 hours, you're going live with me. So, you also told me a very interesting thing that uh, there's a client of yours who had a journey. Um, and then she you told me that Chika, even that reminded me of what you're doing with your project. So, what was that? Let's tell people about that. The, the, the lady who got dressed and took her picture and you said, wow, this is amazing. And then. Yes, I, that was actually yesterday. And she's just yesterday morning. And I said, what wow. You look- yesterday, today, what's happening? Yeah, Everything yesterday and today. So you, she, yeah, it's amazing. It's just, yeah, it's, yeah, heaven. 
it's it's I all up from above and i and i yeah i clearly see the message now it's this client she's been um she was also hiding she was she i'm helping her in her journey she's been on the program for like three months and then she sent me a message this morning she has already thanked me many many times but then she sent me a message saying thank you for i've been hiding since 2018 i have not taken a picture like this before because i i said wow you look like a diva you're beautiful your, your colors your and i thought it was something normal that she used to do all the time and she's like she said no thank you because you have um, made my self-esteem you, you elevated my self-esteem all because of you and your motivation and your encouragement and and at that point i thought about it it clicked with the photography again that she told me that she was hiding since 2018 yeah. because of her weight so and again another sign that i'm doing the right thing um motivating and helping all these women yeah. to get back on their journey and get their mindset their self-esteem and also helps me get an, a confirmation that i'm on my right path it's i'm i belong here and this is what i meant to be doing yeah. and it's going to keep on going and i'm just happy that i got that confirmation on this day, you know, it was yesterday. And then I talked to you also yesterday. So it's just, it's been and a ride. It's been a great ride. Today, uh, uh, Vilma, and uh, uh, you know, when people like all of us say, like I would say my dark circles, my hair, or you would say your weight. I don't think so. All these things are so scary. It's the judgment that's scary. It's the chatter mm -hmm. that's scary. It's the fear that's scary. Uh, you know, those are the things that are stopping us from showing up right mm -hmm. uh, like it's okay that if i have dark circles i still don't have a problem with that but what probably i have a, like dark circles because of sleepless nights and all i have a problem then my sister will call from there my cousins will comment my friends will call and say what's wrong <laughs> wean off your child he's already turning two come on you've totally lost it you're going to sleepless night for two years how will you survive blah 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 and i'm like i don't mm -hmm. want to listen to that stuff and that is what's scary or that's what's annoying and that's what are the reasons why people don't want to show up and also about your client, I always talk to people when they say um, that it was about pictures. And I always tell them the day you find yourself back, you will be the first person to take a picture of yourself and put it out there. You will put it out there, you will put it and you will frame it and you will share it and you will keep doing that because the chatter is gone, the confidence is back. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to wait for your confidence. You don't have to wait mm -hmm. for the chatter to go. You can start the the, the entire journey now and take it till there that mm -hmm. everything resolves and the camera also becomes like one beautiful thing that shows you your beautiful self so that's why you know it's very very important for us to keep doing this and uh it's amazing that my camera is making me realize this uh mm -hmm. and imagine wilma like we just show up in our full spirit with our children in our full spirit with our work whatever impact we are making, we are not thinking hundred things. You know, with pictures, a lot of other things have started coming that, oh my God, if I go online, somebody will download it, it will go to mm -hmm. a wrong site, what will happen if I'm misused? There's so much happening around these pictures, but I also believe that if you go with your full, you know, intention and right uh, uh, intention right out there, Nothing is going to happen to your pictures. Nobody will touch it. Nothing will happen. It will not go towards the wrong direction. The more we fear, the more we attract. And we'll keep attracting those comments and those comments and those negative energies, which will probably take this in the wrong direction. But I think this book is creating a lot of positive energy, a lot of love. Um, you just met me. You still have to meet the pillars. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, basically talk, be talking to you. You can talk to them about the story. Of course, I'm reachable, but you can talk to them about the story. There'll be more women and there'll be 100. And, you know, probably just connecting to all 100 will take one whole year to make them friends and all. But imagine 100 together celebrating and then getting to know each other in itself is a very big thing. In itself, yeah. forget about, you know, how many people buy the book, what happens to the book, how many downloads happen, uh, mm -hmm. whether it becomes a bestseller, doesn't happen. I mean, I don't know. I mean, 
for me even these 100 women coming on zoom and holding hands and saying we are not scared we will show up no matter what mm-hmm. you know so that's it was, it was it was um one at one point that i did see that and i thought about like oh the book is maybe i'll be on the book like at the beginning and i'm like oh no she got too many people <laughs> so <laughs> but yeah but i just need to tell you that <laughs> imagine can you imagine wow, milma it's you know why it's happening to you why are you in this book because you had decided you don't even know i think very recently you have decided that this is enough and i need to come back and that decision is now throwing clues after clues after clues for you and you're just picking it up and that's it you could have said no you could have said no i'm not ready i don't think so this is for me you mm-hmm. could have told me but you just picked up the clue and the next clue will come very soon to you and i'm telling you very soon you're going to be out from you but the decision is the first decision is that i don't want to be staying where i am i need to move mm-hmm. out from here asap so whichever is the first clue we will pick that up and we will leave so we don't have to solve before we show up we solve on our way we inspire on our way because there will be somebody who would be behind us and even and that's said, that's yeah. Ex- yeah that's exact i'm sorry that's exactly what you said um with one that's that shocked me when you told me one time that the daughters you have to do this for your daughters because your daughters will follow what you your example of hiding and when you said that one time in one of your um classes that's that 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 did it for me and I knew I had to change but I just didn't have the still the you know the courage to get out and do it but they I did um you know try to take a lot of I did take a lot of pictures my daughter saw it but then in the back of my head I was like I have to change and now that you're saying yeah you have to change because they're watching yes and they're watching everything that we do yeah and today they're watching even today they're watching they're watching Wilma <laughs> showing up and this is what's going to be that we can show up look at our mom and tomorrow whenever that book in the future near future is going to come out they're going to watch that book as well wow my mom is <laughs> yeah. you know they're going to hold that book very dear to their heart because they will see their mom being honored in a book for being a mother for being a super mom and that's why this project <laughs> is very close to my heart and um, you know, and I also say that that it's nothing to do with daughters. It's also our boys. Our boys need to know mm-hmm. that they need to uplift their women around them. Uh, it's not their fault. It's just that they don't understand it sometimes that the changes as mothers we are going through, their wife will be there, their sisters are going to be there, their friends yes. are going to be there. They all are going to become mothers. So my son needs to know that if I'm seeing this girl who's related to me or it's in my circle going down, all she needs to be told is. It's okay, it's temporary, get up, you can do it. Or maybe pass on this book to her and say, you know what, my mom did a book 20 years back and that's the <laughs> book she did. And because it's been happening for generations and it might happen mm-hmm. for generations to come as well to mothers when the child comes and you know we go through what we go through. And my son is going to hand over that book to that girl and say, look at this, if these 100 moms could do it 20 years back, you can do it today. So that's, that's why amazing. this is going to make a history for my for the family as well so it's not about only girls it's about the boys to know that mm-hmm. what needs to be done to uplift these mother pulse that is totally <laughs> suffering and um, this mother earth cannot be healed if the nurturer is not healed we are the nurturers we need to throw the nurturing energy out we need to start nurturing things around us only then we might be able to reverse a lot of negativity that can happen and it will happen magically mm-hmm. It's because we are not well, the nurturer is not well, the life giver is not feeling okay. And that's why, you know, not so okay stuff gets passed on in the energy realm. Mm-hmm. So Wilma, welcome to this book. <laughs> What's your dream? Let's put Thank your you. dream out and um, let's manifest that dream today on this very special day that you have. Thank you so much. Um, my dream. Oh wow! <laughs> my. Nobody's asked you that, Milma. Hmm? Nobody's asked you your dream till now. 
Well, not in camera, but my dream, <laughs> my, my dream is to empower and help as many people as I can on my lifetime and help them not even, you know, not only through this journey of health, but emotionally and have them, you know, help them grow and get out there. And now that I'm getting out and I'm getting out of the, you know, in, in front of the lens instead of behind the lens, I would like to also empower more people, more women, and to do the same thing that I'm doing today. And this will come true in this book. We will put that dream ahead. And this is just beautiful. You're a beautiful, beautiful soul. I am totally, totally honored to have you on this book. And I totally love this interview because it's so real. The struggle, the stuff, and what you've just overcome. Literally a breakthrough over the last 10 hours of us meeting till here. From saying, really, you need to have a, like, video call to now say, <laughs> now that I'm fine uh, in front of the video, I want to do this, you know, it's a breakthrough. It's a total amazing thing to see. It's really making my heart so full. So thank you for trusting me with this, Wilma. We will see you on the other side and we will celebrate you as a mom in the book very soon. So thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, it's a total uh, pleasure. Yeah. And just don't go offline. Terry, uh, Terry has been here supporting us through and through with these things. And I know a lot of them will come. Uh, I will tag more people to this. You tag more people to this because everybody around you need to know that you've been interviewed now for a beautiful book. Mm -hmm. So let's celebrate with everyone around you as well. So take Thank care you. and I shall, I shall uh, go off. Terry, we love you. Terry, we totally love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Don't go away. I'm just stopping the.